another drippy, wet, muddy, muggy morning. <sighs> Had a break in last night in our apartment building, having to deal with that. Sometimes it just feels like, even though you're so optimistic, Mr. Pink, sometimes you start to lose your optimisticness. There's a, an amazing amount of wealth over here, and an amazing amount of negativity over here. And it's just natural for humans to, you know what I mean? But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. Okay, right off the bat, I wanted to, right off the bat? What a stupid saying, right off the bat. So, I wanted to get to this news first, and that's a Yellowstone Grand Teton Fisher update. Well, lots uh, been discovered since the last update. They're, they've gone from calling it a fissure to a crack in the rock, in a rock. No photos as of this video. So the crack has been stable for a week, so they're contemplating on op reopening the uh, overlook to the falls. With investigations, they found that the fissure actually opened up last fall in 2017 and probably hasn't changed since then. It was discovered July 10th, 2018. So they're saying that it's just probably a rock that cracked and not actually a fissure. The problem with this is that the USGS has been hammered by the Orange Administration. They don't even update their uh, websites anymore. I don't even know how many USGS people are even at Yellowstone anymore. Knowing this orange man, he probably doesn't believe in volcanoes or something. All I can say, people, we better not let that wall go up. There may be a need for a large contingent of humanity to pour over that Mexican border. And then we'll see what it's like to be treated the way we're treating them. Let's talk about the amazing temperatures that we're seeing this summer. So far, the highest temperature this summer, 124.7 Middle East. But the big shocker is the amount of record-breaking temperatures in the Arctic Circle that have been broken just in the last month. Finland, 32.2 Celsius or 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a record for them. Norway, 32.6 Celsius or 90.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Sweden, 32.5 Celsius or 82.5 degrees Fahrenheit. These are all places in the Arctic Circle where there should not be anywhere near these kind of temperatures. But I'm afraid those days are over. So what happens next in the Arctic is probably a very, very large thaw beginning. How long will it take for the Arctic and the permafrost to melt? There are guesses 50 to 100 years. There's mathematical equations that show that uh, that won't happen. All right, people are coming. That's not all. Alright, so this is a conversion from meat eating to vegetarian. The reason we do that is so we can individually try and make changes on our own without anybody else's help. Just ourselves alone can make a difference, regardless of what people say. Let's talk about water usage for meat. Beef, for a beef cow, it takes 2,799 gallons of water to raise one steer or one boy, mosquito getting harder to do uh, videos out here these days. Pork takes 576 gallons. Lamb takes 1,250 gallons. Chicken, for each chicken, takes 400 and 468 gallons of water. Each egg, <laughs> this was shocking, each egg takes 573 gallons of water. Let's go over on the vegetarian side and look at things. It's a little different than you think. Lettuce, one head of lettuce, 15 gallons. One tomato, 22 gallons. Potato, 30 gallons. 
peaches, 140 gallons for each peach. Each avocado, 220 gallons. Each, it says olives. Now, I don't know how many they mean, but it's 522 gallons. Here's the shocker. Blow away, you bugs. Chocolate, one of my favorite all-time foods. 2,847 gallons for each pound of chocolate. It would sure be easier if everything was black and white. So one more thing I wanted to say was that on this channel we're getting bombarded with garbage and I'm having to delete and you know that kind of thing and I, I don't like doing that you know. I, I like good commenters and I you know it's fine if you disagree and stuff but just you know all the threats and all that stuff it doesn't go anywhere. It's not going to change me in any way. So Pink Barrio continues as the world is spiraling out of control the orange man's doing one person we see we saw this back in the 1930s one person alone one crazy nut changed the entire planet and caused millions to die i can't imagine what's in the future for us it doesn't look good and i don't mean to be pessimistic but sometimes i'm allowed to be so i appreciate all your ups and your downs and your new subscribers especially and if there is a next time 